بسم اللہ الرحمن السلام علیکم پاکستان ویلکم بیک ٹو کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ وی آر موونگ فارورڈ ود آر ڈفرینٹ سیشنز اینڈ وی لوکنگ ایٹ ڈفرینٹ اسٹریٹجیز وی لوکنگ ایٹ ڈفرینٹ سرکمسٹانسز وی آر لوکنگ ایٹ ڈفرینٹ انفلوئنسز اینڈ ہاؤ ویریس ایشوز کین افیکٹ گورننس ٹوڈے وی گوئنگ ٹو بی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ ایشوز آف گورننس ریلیٹڈ ٹو دی ریمونریشن پروسیس ناؤ لیڈیز اینڈ جنرمن وین وی ٹاک اباؤٹ ریمونریشن دین بیسکلی دی گورننس آف ریمونریشن اور انسینٹو سسٹمس has often failed because negotiations and decisions are not carried out uh, at an arm's length. So what we see is, is that favoritism, nepotism, uh, personal likes and dislikes, discrimination basically come into, uh, the, uh, into, the, into the remuneration and incentive systems. And uh, due to that, in many cases, it is striking how the link between performance and remuneration is very weak or difficult to establish. And if that is the case, then ladies and gentlemen, uh, if the performance system is not linked with the remuneration system, then uh, we also see many problems emerging in human resource management and labor unions basically clicking in and a lot of disgruntlement emerging, which can create a lot of chaos and confusion and ambiguity within uh, any particular organization. And therefore, it is very important that the remuneration and incentive systems are professionally managed and are done in a scientific structured way so that they are equitable, they are compassionate, and they are seen to be fair. And that is extremely important when we are developing these processes. Remuneration schemes are often overly complicated or obscure in ways that camouflage conditions and consequences. Transparency needs to be improved beyond disclosure. Remuneration policies should be submitted to the annual board meeting. So again, many times we see uh, that uh, sometimes the top management uh, has very high remunerations going into millions, sometimes hundreds of millions, while The lower staff uh, have very low salaries, even below sustenance. And the gap between them is so enormous. So this itself becomes a corporate governance issue. And it becomes very important that there is complete disclosure, there is transparency, and the board is aware of what is happening. And they should not be camouflaged uh, in different packages uh, so that when the total package is uh, calculated, then uh, the results uh, are astronomical, especially in the context of uh, top management. and detrimental for those in the lower management, which creates an animosity between the different uh, sectors and between the different segments uh, and different departments of a particular organization. Uh, the goal needs to be uh, remuneration incentive systems that encourage long-term performance. So again, should be hinged or leveraged with a performance management system, looking at the long-term, defining the structure of remuneration incentive schemes is a key aspect of corporate governance. and companies need flexibility to adjust systems to their own circumstances. So yes, there is no one size fit all. It has to be customized. It has to be rationalized. It has to be legalized. And it has to be uh, done uh, in a very equitable way to ensure uh, that corporate governance is being practiced uh, by the organization. Steps must be taken to ensure that remuneration is established through an explicit governance process where the goals and responsibilities of those involved are clearly defined. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, that is why This remuneration process or remuneration structures are very important in, in corporate governance. And there has to be clarity. There has to be goal orientation. There has to be uh, process uh, centricity. And most importantly, there have to be responsibilities that are clearly defined. And also ensuring that whoever is doing it is doing it based upon merit, is doing it based upon equity, and is based upon it uh, uh, transparency. And that leads to a better remuneration process leading to corporate governance. Thank you so much.